is good people welcome back to another episode of drive time crypto with me crypto chris and i just wanted to do a, another video just to an update on what is going on with the helium network from the last video that i put up there just before i start this video though guys i just want to point out that i'm on the road to 300 subscribers so please guys if you like this content could i ask if you could subscribe to my channel as it really is appreciated and helps my channel grow now onto the video so after i'd released the last video they've come on and give some updates update number eight that says the hotspot releases are now available makers will release this and send the updates to their fleet of hotspots it's up to each individual hotspot manufacturer to send the update to your hotspot and that update is the one that they were testing and, and making sure was right which allowed your hotspot to disconnect and reconnect to a different validator should the one that you're connected to be poor, uh, poorly performing and the later went on to uh, say at this point the team is monitoring proof proof of coverage receipts and overall network health there are no outstanding items for the team to address unless something goes wrong there will be no more updates from me um and then the uh, 12 hours later the they released a another update as the validators and hotspots picking up the new software releases the proof of coverage receipt and witness rates have improved substantially as expected this increased the workload for the validators and has reached the trigger point where the block production and election times are affected as planned the core team is decreasing the numbers of challenges per block from 1000 to 400 now in my last video as i explained there was uh, increasing the uh, challenges to a thousand per block to try and make up for the the downtime that's been on the network to give everybody a, a, another crack at witnessing and, and beaconing and all the rest of it so it seems like you know the, the it it was successful um and that's why they've, they've brought it back down to 400 because the validators were were starting to struggle a little bit um, and then they've released a further update just saying that they now believe that they could increase that to 700 as not to lose the number of successful receipts we've seen on the network. This should be a good compromise for chain health and proof of coverage receipts. So all that sounds fantastic and you're hoping, you know, right, okay, this is it, this is the turning point. But if you have a look at the on-chain data so i showed this yesterday and this is the transaction rate and the proof of coverage rate that there where it falls off was where the update happened now since then the transaction rate it it died down somewhat around there which was uh yesterday um i think that's where they they were where they were forcing through the the different updates for validators and then it's come back but it's it's not really peaked above what the transaction rate was uh before before the updates and if anything you can see the bars there they're quite spread out whereas these were quite compressed so yeah they have pushed these out but it's not correlating and it certainly doesn't look as healthy as before the update and then when you you go down to the proof of coverage rate now this is what was what was scary is the fact that we were flatlining on the no witness count and then you you saw all this turbulence here with the with the no witness count and that was what the problem was as well is that these validators were putting out challenges and not accepting the witnesses uh, so that meant that the hotspots that were on the network weren't getting paid because they weren't being seen as witnesses now they seem to have ironed that out because the no witness count has gone back to this flat line at the bottom however the recipient count receipt count sorry um again it's yeah it's gone up but it's it just it's really messy and it's fluctuating all over ways you had these tight bars last time before the update it's just it's all a bit ugly it's dropping back down there to again at the same kind of levels that we were at before just messy and less even less compacted and um if we go down to the witness count this was what the problem was down here you can see where the the witness counts dropped right off now yeah the witness count has gone back up but again 
it's just really, really messy, really erratic um, with the amounts that are going on. So, I, to me, the validators still, it's just, it's not going right. And we want nice, tight, accurate, and like almost predictable witness counts like like down here. I just, yeah, they're telling us one thing on the Discord that, yeah, they're seeing this and that, but when you actually start diving into it and looking at the on-chain uh, analysis, it's it's something different. It's not painting the pretty picture. Now, in the video yesterday, I had a look at a couple of validators. Now, this is quite promising to see. One of the ones that I saw that was, was putting out challenges and not getting witnesses, they are now getting witnesses. They're putting challenges out. They, they are getting the witnesses. Rightly so, they're getting rewarded, but I'm not bothered about the rewards. Now, I'm more concerned about making sure that they were getting witnesses so they've they've done the upgrade and yeah they're, they're getting they're getting solid witnesses all the way along now which is which is great to see now helium said that if you didn't do the mandatory upgrade as a validator then there could be reward penalties etc so i went to have a look at this second validator that i looked at yesterday and as you can see where it says no witnesses this validator doesn't seem to have done the update and subsequently it hasn't done anything for a day pretty much since when i put the the video out last and so in in one way it's it's positive to see that that they're not getting rewarded for not doing a, a job correctly but in another way it's it's infuriating as well because we need these validators online why aren't they getting the the acts together i don't understand well, this is why I don't run a validator because I don't understand. But surely there could be some way of, of forcing, forcing the update, forcing the code onto the validator. I don't know. Maybe this is this is something that Helium needs to look at, um, vetting or having some sort of mechanism in place that they can they can force updates through, force coding on, making sure that the validators are up and running because this kind of action isn't isn't going to be conducive to inviting people to use the the network and i don't know about you guys once again here's my minor yeah i picked up a couple 17 hours ago and 14 hours ago but again nothing no no um broadcast beacon no real activity and it's 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 infuriating and if we go to ones close to me again they're not doing anything now for two days and as you could see before if i scroll down they were an active active hotspot they were getting plenty on it again another one near me not doing anything but it was an active hotspot it's infuriating but what's more infuriating about it is i literally think that it depends on where you are geographically as well um now i said that I thought it was the look of the draw, but now I do think it's 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 geographical locations as well, uh, because my friend's hotspot, which is the other end of the country, with this is in England, he's he's been saying, nah, I'm I'm pretty good, me, yeah, he's seen a little bit of downtime and all the rest of it, but it's it's now producing well, it's it's not got a problem. And he's back on, but he, he was active through all that downtime as well. So who knows? Who knows what's going on? It doesn't seem, or maybe the update was successful for the validators, but because the update was, was successful, as in when I say successful, it's penalizing the ones that aren't doing well um, and, and not upgrading. I think that's having a, now an adverse effect on the network that we've not got all these validators going and providing the the challenges. So yeah, there, there's a lot to be questioned. I don't. I feel like helium at the, the same one thing, but it's it's not really transpiring. Please let me know in the comments. Um, obviously, I'm just checking the the area around me um, and checks. Uh, 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 a hotspot of my friends that I know was doing doing all right but how's it going for you have you seen any improvements have you seen the the rewards coming back in like you was doing or have you have you seen nothing uh let me know let, let me are you have you managed to see witnesses um have you been a, a beacon uh, it, it'd be interesting to find out whether 
it, geographically in different parts of the globe that there is potential that it's it's picked up and it might just be validators closer to us i don't know nevertheless it's still not right we're still not there the on-chain data is showing completely different to the positive messages that the discord updates are going out at and i think people are going to get really tired really quickly if this doesn't get resolved and some stability comes back not only because we want to see that stability but that is what's going to bring activity to the network because inevitably that's what they're going to need so yeah i'm going to wrap this video up guys thanks very much again for checking in with me it really is appreciated if you could like comment and subscribe to my channel that would be really 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 grateful cheers bye bye